left. I don't have any ELCs in this game, so. When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. Kyle's grandbrother. The factory had been converted to a production line for erosion drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. Oh, I'll question about that. I had just that. finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. Figures. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erusians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work, even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped then, for all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she yeah, kept the war going. Definitely. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it. And now, they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home let alone the sky. The black forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland, she's right. 
It feels so far away now. The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. Uh... First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. Okay. <laughs> Speed set the sides. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Yeah, they were planning to build several one of Good. those, but and afterwards, yeah, asteroid we'll bring came. down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now it's the root of this chaos. I wonder. Yes. I wonder which path you would choose when looking at Harling's mirror. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, it'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contained. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space element. As it's a source of energy, Give the war mongrels a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Arusia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air to the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass, if you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse and see the future. Dumbass? Sounds familiar. Certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island, the 444 squad. It's a message to all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for Trick. <laughs> hey, dumbass. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal bird. Um, so, yeah, but it's it's helping a lot. We need help. Don't let him have his war. Show him what the erosion. Now, what fighter pilots are made of. <laughs> I owe you. That's what. Get into formation. We have the numbers. Well, if it isn't the LRSSG, looks like our luck has turned. LRSSG, you will secure air superiority. There are Russian aircraft in the coalition, so they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Wiseman trained his squad well. Everyone's still in it as an ace. He'd be proud of you all. To all of you who have 
gathered here, regardless of your country. This is headquarters of the Ocean Army Southern Command. Wait, you can forget that designation. We are a coalition formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird in unison. Roger. Well, as you know, we're speaking on our own channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Illusion aircraft are in the coalition as well. Arsenal bird. Take those projectiles. All aircraft, stay clear of the blast area. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ten seconds to impact. 
seconds. Five seconds to arrival. Two. Inbound. So they kind of forgot that it's going to have a... Longcaster warning all aircraft. I have multiple blips on my scope. Here they come. That's something. Get to the top of the windbreak. Do you think you can put on that pressurized suit by yourself? 
yourself. You'll never get it on over those pearls. Yes. I'm getting sick of that arrogant bastard. Seriously. No good. The engine control room is gone. Yes. Pilots in the world won't save us unless we have a plan. Give us time. We'll see what we can do. You're just thinking about it now? <laughs> Cover any friendlies that's hit. So we're going to destroy destroyed. Hell 
Don't worry about me. Please just take care of the refugees. I'll parachute down. What? Okay. Warning. Incoming bogey. Are those the drones we saw at that factory? I'm coming down. I'll see you on the ground. No, wait! Enemy on my six! Those guys are bad news. Trigger, boss, do something! Boss fights. Strider 2, missile inbound! Well, not, not too much space. Be careful, man. Well, we're okay for the moment. Okay, the not too begins. much space to use. Yeah, apparently. Well, okay. if it isn't the LRSSG, looks like our luck has turned. And time to take some pictures. Because we can't save the replay. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. 
the name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, the ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, uh, I, I think I it'll be the end of everything. Carrier from previous games. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. She's, she's some kind of genius with those fighters. Trigger, everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erosian coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the Space Elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. Uh-oh. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it. So we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. Down. 
one down. Target is losing altitude rapidly. The down man is going for a bill away from it. I saw it myself. Three strikes is a real deal. One point left. Assault two. Evade. Evade. again. Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. 
Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Stick with Trigger, and you'll make it. Crazy. Some people have to... No. crashed. <laughs> no. <laughs> that didn't go so well. Ah. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe a bit more careful. Count, where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah. Well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Stick with Trigger, and you'll make it. Caution. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent, so you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. There it is. You may be spotted. We finally found it. Isn't the thing. Fly! I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing! Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but me. I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. Black. 
asteroid belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land Wait, this Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. Skies unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktovania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out, too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us, too. I never wanted ah, to create anything. Survived. And now, here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. <clears throat> peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. Can you hear me? Oh, what? Right. That was it. Um... Ending word. Um... I'll, I'll go in first with the, with the English. So, I kind of like this. Um, Ace Combat has always had a, like, sweet spot uh, for me. Uh, there weren't much of new things in the seventh game, although I, I like the return to the, uh, this uh, Ace Combat world and not, not the real life world, uh, which they kind of briefly visited in the previous Ace Combat game. Which uh, Assault Horizon, which was like too arcadey for me, and Russians were bad guys. Well, I, I think it went too close to home, really. But as for the seventh game, yeah, it, it was okay. I haven't tested the multiplayer, I think it's much grindy and not as fun, but I 
don't hold me on that because I haven't really tasted it. And uh, well, I like the, like this game, but it always feels too short, too movie, <laughs> too short, and always with with the uh, pacifistic ideals, which are great. I mean, I mean, we we need to think about world without war, world with peace, and what the actually ending of war means, and how we should actually support people. Why the the zones of war? Okay, so review with finish. Eli oli ihan hyvä peli. Ei hirveästi uutta kuudenteen peli verrattuna tai South Horizon. South Horizon oli vähän liian arcade tyyppinen mulle. Ää, tykkäsin kyllä, tykkään aina asso, ää, näistä Ace Combat peleistä, mutta nämä tuntuu aina tosi lyhyiltä. En ole monin peliä kokeillut, en ole varma, että olisiko se hauskaa, mutta niin, niin en välttämättä ole, ole niin kuin kokeilemassa ihan heti. Lyhyesti näin, ihan kiva peli. <laughs> tai siis ihan kiva, se on se mun arvio tästä. Ää, muutenkin vois, ää, no super Temppuja pystyy, lentoliikkeitä pystyy tekemään tietyillä hävitteillä tässä näin. Mä en hirveästi testannut sitä, vaan se on enemmänkin taktikointia, että ottaako ilmasta maahan vai ilmasta ilman aseen. Mutta ihan kiva. Ja onpas volyymi kolmikuvalla. Niin seuraavana viikonloppuna on Rovekodissa etenee niin striimaamaan, mutta sitten poistetaan Metal Gear Solid Olomusta aloitella. Ja katsoo huomenna sitten, jos, jos ehtistetään Dark Soulsia pelaamaan, koska sen, mä haluaisin periaatteessa sen Dark Soulsin vaan läpi. Se on droittunut niin pitkään tuossa pelilistalla, että olisi kiva niin kuin saada läpi ja jotain muuta sitten pelata, mutta yhtä karmeita. Ehkä. Mutta tosiaan tällainen, tällaiset pelit tällä kertaa tässä menikin kolmisen tuntia ja seuraavaksi pelaan jotain aivan muuta. Kiitos katsomisesta ja muistakaa tykätä ja katsoa Facebookissa. Ei face, no okei, okay, Facebookissa, Twitchissä, mutta tietenkin YouTubeissa tykkäämiset ja katsomiset, niin ää, ne vaikuttaa tosi paljon kalakkanava algoritmiin. Et jos ei, jos ei katso eikä tykkää, niin ei se vaan näy kenellekään muullekaan. Näin. Yes. Ei muuta. Äs. Mä jätän vaikka ton, ton vielä tuohon pyörimään tän pelin, jos, jos tulisi jotain niin kuin lopputekstin jälkeen. Näissä ei yleensä lopputekstin jälkeen. Mutta kirjaudun ulos täältä näin, niin ei muuta kuin hyvää päivänjatkoa kaikille.